So good morning to all. Um, I am Sajan Dixit, my colleague uh, Subrato Naik from IIT Khadakpur. We both are working in this field uh, since long time. I am a project manager here, he is also a project manager and I look after the video production activity, AU transmission. So first uh, this project we started through AU uh, in 2009. On that time there were uh, only few centers and there were lots of problems we faced. Now, current time, there are lots of improvement. We observed that many centers <coughs> improved their, their transmission quality. So I would like to congratulate some of the remote center coordinators. They have done this. They have been doing their best. They physically present during that time if it is required. So many, many thanks to them. First, we will see the guidelines. It is already on our website. Whenever prior to the workshop, we send the same guidelines file in a attachment to all the center coordinators. So just see this. This is the portal which we are using and here there is a downloads. Here you can see the link of the A view as well as we can found guidelines file. We try to cover all the issues, all the installation procedure, operational things, everything we try to cover inside this. This is the first version. So just let us see. So that in the table of contents, classroom, then requirements of the AVU classroom, then installation procedure, then equipments connections, system audio settings, then how to use AVU classroom. And general issues, most probably you or we have been facing the problems. So along with the solution, we had tried to cover this. All the issues are listed in this file, along with the solutions. Then do's and don'ts, daily checklist, when you start the machine, what are the checklists you, are, you have to follow? And the star rating criteria, what, what are the criteria we are following to award the stars? We try to cover all the points in this file. So the requirements we have mentioned here, as we, we are getting calls from the remote center that we are forcing to the centers to purchase this equipment, this equipment, this equipment. Just see this file. We have not mentioned any, anything that you have to purchase this equipment. Some of the centers call to us that please suggest a brand, please suggest a brand, we are not aware about that. So we suggested some brands and we, we have mentioned or equivalent. If you are getting any branded equivalent model, you can purchase. We recommend you to use any of the following capture card, which is required to connect camera in the system. So we have mentioned Osprey card, then Pinnacle card. But we also mentioned or equivalent. If you are not getting that, that card in your area, in your uh, nearest region, then you should purchase equivalent model. Whatever you are getting, that should be branded. Which is by all yeah. the remote centers, some remote centers. Earlier there was no uh, audio mixer uh, introduced. We recently introduced that. It is required because whenever we select a remote center, sometimes audio gain is low. We have a facility in IIT Bombay to increase the gain because we have lots of equipment here. But you are getting the same feed from server. Therefore, if the audio gain is low, we can't increase that. If a remote center will provide good quality audio gain, then all will get the audio properly. So therefore, audio mixer is required to control the gain and control the input and output facility. And of course, uh, the audio system means audio amplifier plus speakers. So since long time, we have been observing that uh, those remote center who have been using AUSA brand amplifier, lots of problem related to that. Here, we suppose we are transmitting a live session. We have a facility here to monitor the same uh, transmission. We monitor it. If is there any problem, all will get, all the remote center who connected in this technology will get the same problem. But if, if a particular center is getting the problem, means there is a problem in that particular center. So if, if you have a professional amplifier, then audio problem will be resolved. 
So the installation procedures, you should follow this. I'm not going to explain in details. Can you just tell us who amplifier is? Any, any professional amplifier you can purchase. So we any. If, if, you have, if you are getting good quality audio in AUJA, there is no objection. You can, you can continue, no problem. The equipment's connections. You need to buy an audio mixer with AUX facility. What is AUX facility? We have, we have mentioned it here. So along with the diagrams, we have mentioned it here. So AUX means, suppose in a general output, if you have connected to my one AVU machine, so the consolidated signal, mix signal of all the inputs, you, will, you can take out. But if you have an auxiliary facility, then you can control output. Suppose you have connected your microphone in number one input, and you have connected AVU system output in number two, connects, uh, number two input, and you are taking control through aux out facility, then there is a control here. If you increase the aux gain of mic one, then you will get only microphone output, not AVU machines output. If you do this, echo will be resolved. No echo will be generated. All the instructions are inside this file, how you can make a connections properly. This is the diagram. Then system audio configurations settings. So there is a confusion here. Suppose you have inserted a microphone outs or or audio outs uh, input in the machine. But in some cases, there are multiple inputs in the audio, the mic in, line in. So you have to tell your system that what you have, what the cable, where you have inserted. Suppose you have inserted cable in the microphone input, but you selected, li selected line in, then audio will not come. So as per the connection, you have to tell to the computer that this is my input. Please, please do this. You have to select this. So, so you suppose you have inserted cable in the line in option, then there should be audio setting in, in you can find that there is a line on option, you have to select the same. Where if, whenever you connect the cable, just make sure that you have connected. If you have connected in the line in, you should select line in. You have connected in microphone input, then you, select, you should select microphone input. And Related to this, this is the gain control in the, in the machine. The, you can call it volume control of the microphone. Then how to use a view. So I think you are familiar with this. You, when you log in, you will get the classroom. You have to join the classroom. Then you will get the final in interface. Then you have to press the start button to start your streaming because whenever you log in and you join the class, you will get the transmission from our side. But you have to make, you have to start your stream also so that we can get your, your video. And this is the advanced setting of video. So if you are not aware of the advanced settings, please set default settings. Do not change it. And bandwidth quality, if you do not have more upload bandwidth, then please do not increase more than 128 kbps. And here also there is an option. If you have connected your cable, microphone cable in the line in option, make sure it is selected line in here. As per your connection, you should select this. And these are the there are multiple buttons or tabs on that interface, so I tried to explain what are, what are the use of these. <coughs> then general issues, as I discussed that, along with the solution, we have mentioned these. So step by step, you should follow. These. If you are getting the, suppose you are getting login issues, so there are steps here, so you should follow one by one. So 10 steps are there. Then suppose logged in successfully, but session class not available, then you should call because the problem is related to the registration in the classroom. Then getting finally interface, but nothing visible. So steps are there, what you have to follow. No continuity in audio. So it could be slow performance of the PC, bandwidth, or sometimes it could be depends on, we can say that the Adobe Air version, which 
we provide along with the AVU installation. If you sudden uh, accidentally or updated that version, you will get that kind of. Then desktop sharing not visible, transmission delay, audio breaking, low audio, audio echo. So just go through this file. And then do's and don'ts. What you should follow this also. What is the ideal placement of the camera inside the classroom? So this is the diagram. Here I would like to say that this is the important part for participants from here. We already send mail many times to the remote center coordinator, please print this and distribute to the participant faculties or teachers. So here we, we, has, we said that avoid formal greetings like good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So every time whenever we select the same centers, there are lots of centers, they are waiting for their turn. So please avoid this kind of formal greetings. And how you should hold the microphone. So you can see first one is incorrect because the angle of the microphone is not proper. In second also, the mic is in third, mic is too close to the mouth. And in fourth, far away from the mouth. This is the correct position. So this part you should, on first day you should print on, on the paper and distribute to the participants. Then there is a protocol over to you, you should fo also follow that. Yeah, these are don't, don'ts points. And they, there is a daily checklist. So whenever next day, when you start the machine, you should follow this also. Then star rating criteria, these are the criteria which we are following to award the stars. So one for testing, AV testing, two for audio video from remote centers. So this is the distance mode uh, workshop which we are, we, we are calling. So if there is no audio video, that means no workshop. We, we are giving preference to this, so therefore two star for this category. So along with the screenshot, we have mentioned that how, how many star you will get. Here, workshop feedback. So after the workshop or during the workshop, we as uh, from this uh, from computer programming onwards, we started AV monitoring. So we randomly check the remote centers, and uh, remote centers uh, say that uh, we have taken say, some screenshot before the session start or in the tea break or in the lunch break. That is not right. We we know that this is the time break. Why we will take that? So after the works, workshop, we randomly call to the participating teachers that you, you got proper food there, you got assist, proper assistance there. So according to the feedback of the participants as well as AVU connections and the screenshot, we allot one star for participants or workshop feedback in this category. So you can see this is the monitoring interface. We can, we can see all the centers at a time. Then fund settlement. We give you one month time to settle the documents for fund utilization, and you should submit that before uh, before the deadline. <coughs> so if you do, we will we will give one uh, one star. If you will not do, then zero star. Then please do not force us that that was the mistake. So we were unable to produce the docu document. As per the guidelines, we award this. This is the guidelines file. So come to the slide, the issues which we are facing frequently. In 70% cases, RC coordinators do not follow this file, do not provide this file to the technical staff. As I showed you that everything inside this file, if the technical staff does not have that file, then he is unable to uh, resolve the issues. For in 40% cases, RC coordinators do not read that file or e email. do not read emails properly. All the instructions we, we give in the email from where you have to download the AVU, which version you have, to, you have to download, you have to use, what are the login credentials, uh, what server you have to select, but they are not reading that mail fully. Every time technical people call us to provide login credentials, where is the download link, 
as you are the authorized person so we we send email to you so you should make a local communication protocol inside your your institute so so that they can they can get the, this information in 30% cases during the live session of the workshop we are facing these kind of issues first is the testing with improper equipments sometimes we we can see that uh, some of the centers connect headphone or webcam and they say that we will connect on first day but what is the mean of the testing testing means that this is the final setup and it is in working condition and it will be used in the workshop right now we do not have time to spend more than 5 minutes per uh, time with uh, per center because earlier it was 30 remote centers 40 remote center we spent lots of time to resolve their issues through taking the desktop control using team weaver or me admin whatever but right now there is no time to do this kind of activity so you should you should use the equipments which you will use going to use in the workshop so in some cases av testing is not performed well or on time then late login disconnection many disconnections we found per day i observed that in a, in a center per day 625 disconnections in a day then unnecessary chats hello good morning how are you just try to understand if there is a workshop uh, for computer programming there are 272 remote centers if somebody one person will say hello how many chats will be there if there is a question it is very difficult to identify by the teacher that there is a question in between that oh. then poor video framing camera placement uh, we we can see that the camera is be behind in the classroom sometimes in front of the classroom so i have mentioned a ideal position where you have to keep the camera and the whole classroom must be so that as we are monitoring that whenever you you will be selected on that time camera man should focus that person and move camera here and there then poor lighting sometimes we can't and can't realize can't observe that what's going on there then poor audio quality sometimes echo sometimes low gain and the quality of is not good then if somebody called to iit bombay suppose as i discussed earlier that if there is a problem from iit bombay all will get the same problem huh. somebody call me that this is the problem in my center i i said I, I i say that please follow the guidelines file we have mentioned everything no sir we followed that but uh, that particular problem from iit bombay we everything we have we have done according to your instructions but the problem is from iit bombay so unnecessary arguments and blame to iit bombay that this problem from iit bombay because we, they don't know they do the technical staff says that we do not have av guidelines file rcc coordinator did not provide that file to me <laughs> then unnecessary arguments to increase the star rating as we 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 award the star rating as per the guidelines suddenly you fail to submit the bill on time and say that the chartered accountant was on leave and you say please increase that how it is possible 30 days means 30 days hmm. suppose i am a student i i am not feeling well and due to that i could not attend the examination so i will not say to the examiner, examiner that please pass me so let us see the individual star rating and then av logs and statistics remote cent of remote centers so as i think all are aware that this is the page which from where you can you can check your star ratings so these are the star ratings if you want to see your individual category individual individual stars then you should follow the workshop and then select the workshop then at the top you can see and star rating for this workshop so we have mentioned the criteria again here and four categories and your star rating so there is a note here if your rc earns zero star in audio video from rc or workshop feedback category star will not be counted for final star rating despite you have earned stars in other category 
but this time there are lots of centers who earn zero star. So we have not included this. But as the participate, participants feedback and the workshop audio video is very crucial part for this distance word activity. So if they will do the testing properly and they will settle the fund, that is not up to the level that they have done their best. So therefore we, we have uh, introduced this note. Then, so from computer programming onwards, we, we have developed a program to fetch log files from the AVU server and it generates your statistics, AVU connection, disconnection, late login, what type, at what time you have logged in, at what time you have logged out, everything is there. So as you can see in cyber security, 10th July, the, there are multiple options here, continue, login, logout for all centers, then continuous login, <coughs> iska continuous login, tha center ka frequently login, logout, late login, absent, who was the absentee, then RC screenshot. So when you click on the screenshot, you will get the thumbnail view of all the screenshot which we have taken on that day. And when you select, suppose I select 18th June for computer programming work. So when I click this, I will get this, this page. So, uh, so as per the remote center, you will get your statistics. So, so just first center per present, first login was at 36. Logout, we have not, because when we shut down that AV system in the teacher's end, they have not logged out. So, and then number of disconnect, disconnections. So everything is here. And we, when, you, when you select a center, suppose I am going to select Amal Jyoti College, he is our five star centers every time. So when I click this center, so you can see continuous login, continuous login, continuous login. There is no late login, there is no disconnection. And when you select, when you click on the screenshot on particular date, you will get only that screenshot. So on that day, there was no screenshot. So you are unable to see this. So only three, dis three times disconnection for three workshops. So if we select another center, more details in the disconnection, if you collect on the disconnected three, 10 times, when you click on that, you will get the individual statistics of times. So first disconnection was, so you can, you can see this, the time, so I randomly selecting an, a center. So you can see every time disconnection, disconnection, absent, absent means he, the center was not present in that computer network works of then disconnection, disconnection. There is no continuity. And when you select the screenshot, you will get the screenshot of that center. So fully automated system we have. So just try to follow the guidelines. Come to the discussion part. If you have any questions, please raise. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir, for such a nice demo. I have one query regarding that uh, you shown that uh, the exact position of the camera just uh, aside of uh, projector. I have one query regarding that when I stand my uh, camera just beside to the projector, that projector light is get uh, reflected on the uh, camera lens. So, but if at the top level, then <coughs> are you using the tripod or not? Project Near to the projector screen. Projector screen. Yeah. So it will not affect that, sir. In most cases, 60% center improved that quality. So if the projector is not hanging on the on the top wall, then it could be problem because they they have kept this uh, on the table or like that. Because in my seminar hall, the projector is mounted on the uh, that uh, uh, roof. So I am facing that problem. So, so do maybe, I change maybe, the position maybe of the camera? distance of the projector was maybe the reason for that. But try to close to the projector, try to place that close to the projector. Because in a previous because workshops, if, if we somebody done interact it. with the teacher, there will be eye contact. If you keep that project, uh, the camera there, there will be eye contact. Mm. If you keep the camera left hand side and right side, right hand side, the participant will look on the screen. 
Correct. So there will be no eye contact to the teacher with with teacher. Yes, sir. Most of the time, what happened that uh, because the screens are mounted on the wall, and when I took my uh, pro, uh, camera on just beside to that wall, it is very difficult for my technical team to go there and move the camera. No, I am not saying that exactly. I'll, you I'll, have to not, keep there. I am just some distance that cameraman can operate okay. that. Okay. But. in that area you should keep the camera there okay. if there is another facility in the camera if there is a front light there is a button inside the camera you can on that yeah okay thank you thank you sir actually whenever we place the camera as per the view guideline that entire view of the room is showing in the view mon monitor tools so whenever in the next day we log out in the session and again log in but partial room is showing but again i have called in the e studio team but whenever the computer networking workshop comes to me i'm taking the question the automatically view is again focusing the entire room but all of a sudden it is changing to the partial room partial focus is showing on but sometimes it is showing the entire room focus sometimes it is showing the partial room no, focus no, there is not if you you will not be selected then please do not move camera here and the whole classroom must be visible Sir, I called. Yes, I have suffered the problem in our center. I called in the e studio team, and I have taken the help from the sir regarding. And whenever the question answer session is going on, the entire view is showing. But in the next day, when you log out and again log in, but a partial pass focus is showing. I have mentioned there are, there is an advanced setting in that. If your camera is producing SD quality video, so yes, SD yes. means in SD there is a wide screen for yes, yes. 16 ratio 9. Yes. But you are taking. composite signal output yes and the left part of right part you will not get in that frame because there is a ratio for uh, only 4 ratio 3 for the composite video signal so just change the setting in the camera as well as in a view there is a facility to select the resolution okay thank you sir thank you one more thing i can add actually before uh, focus in me before connecting to you first just click on screen camera means what happens we have to just maximize the view there Then you close and then just. Uh, no, no. It was earlier. There is no need to start the screen ca screen camera in this in this version. Earlier it was there. Now it is not. No, no. It, it was a problem earlier. You have to maximize it and do it. Sir, regarding the video capture card, you say either Viewcast or Pinnacle, both are not available locally, and you say equivalent. then we find there are the capture cards from 10 dollars to say 120 dollars so which you can if you can suggest few more models in addition to pinnacle or please send me a mail i will i will try to you guys study we while testing with kharagpur uh, we had same problem your rcid is 1303 i also have question regarding the video capture card we actually inquired where we could get this osprey branded card and one of the parties is available in pune yes. but uh, same brand is not available at our local place at indore oh. so it was actually not possible for us for to buy it from pune <coughs> and uh, therefore we are still facing problem i actually had some email uh, exchanges with you in this regard so if you could suggest some other brands also sure. it will be nice so if you need a brand name or a model number please mail me so that i will reply i will reply according to that you mail us what brands are available at your end you mail us those names we will select we will tell you i said to you sir and put all them together and help play yes sir i think in iit we routinely procure things on uh, flipkart or any such thing and we get it reimbursed Right, but, uh, they, we have to follow that tender process every time. How much is the For cost of a video capture card? Four thousand to fifteen thousand. <coughs> so about twelve to fourteen thousand rupees. Four, four, starting. Now please understand one thing: you have lakhs of rupees of equipment, and we are spending lakhs of rupees on that workshop. For the sake of a fourteen thousand card, if the quality of the entire workshop is going to suffer, then please raise it to the head of the institution, and say that Professor Fatak has offered the following: If within next ten days you don't permit me to obtain, Professor Fatak will give a donation of fourteen thousand rupees to our your college. 
and I will also send a news item that the college required a donation from an alumnus to procure a 14,000 car. I mean, this is something, this problem will have to be resolved. Such problems will have to be re resolved locally. For such small, you see, please understand this. For a small component, we are holding the quality of the entire workshop at ransom. Sir, actually, I had requested uh, Sajjan to uh, get it procured from IIT Bombay and deduct it no, from IIT our... No, IIT Bombay will not uh, product. Uh, IIT, <laughs> IIT Bombay cannot become the procurement agent for 272 remote center. <laughs> that is not possible. That is not possible. You have to solve this problem. But if you don't solve it, let me know. I will solve it in a very peculiar way. But it will, but it will reflect very badly on the institution. Now go back and raise this. I think you have not raised it to the extent that it needs to be raised. What may happen is, suppose I am your head of the institution, I may consider this only as a procurement problem. And I will say, if it's a procurement problem, then do it as per procurement. But if you raise it in the proper context, that a workshop with 40 participants, with two weeks of interaction, is entirely getting spoiled because of the small unit. I am sure your head of the institution will come up with some solution. Do you agree that if we raise it with that level, it should be possible to do that? Yeah. So do it anyway. Can you, can you send them a list of uh, all uh, uh, capture cards which work and possibly the names, addresses and contact numbers of vendors? It is quite possible that if you write to a vendor and you are willing to pay another thousand rupees, the vendor will dispatch that to Indo. No, no, no. I, I, I am not willing to accept that something did not happen. If I want something desperately, there is nothing on this earth that can prevent that thing from happening. Yeah. <laughs> I have one suggestion. If people are purchasing this Osprey card, the size of the Osprey card uh, is slightly bigger if you want to make use of that Osprey card with the recently purchased i7 systems. Those are much smaller in size and the one which is purchased from, blindly purchased from the market, it doesn't fit into your, you have to as cut per, it and then you have to... the motherboard you have to you Yes, have yes, to you have to purchase it as per the motherboard. That has Sir, to be... Your instruction should include that. Uh, PCI slot. By the way, since the upgrade is happening... So, I think that should there is a one card Osprey number 100 E it will fit in all the motherboards and it, it is the, the lowest model of this Osprey card and you will get it within 12,000 rupees and it satisfies our requirement. Uh, there is one more suggestion since we are likely to provide funding which will include the purchase of a upgraded AVU machine and since uh, Professor uh, has already mentioned that we should use the upgraded AVU machine. You may want to combine the procurement of that AVU machine with that uh, capture card itself. So that the supplier of the PC will procure it and supply it to you. I think that might be a better idea for the next machine. Another solution is uh, already purchased, so also, uh, why should not we have uh, posted onto the Moodle? So another, other one can also uh, contact that supplier. Yeah, okay. That is also a good idea. Huh. Can, uh, give the, matlab, oh, so a Bhopal, Bhopal is much nearer than Indore. Yeah. I mean, than Pune. So I definitely will. Okay. Yes. You might want to send somebody with a card to them as a gift. <laughs> I will pay the bill. <laughs> but this is Hello? a problem. And please don't hesitate. Suppose you say that, oh, I have purchased that large card. It does not fit now in I7. Does not matter. Keep it. Uh, use it with some other machine for some other purpose, but procure the card for the model that you are using. I tell you, audio and video quality is the crux of this workshop. <coughs> Everything depends upon that quality. And if that quality is, uh, one is of course internet bandwidth, but these settings, for example, line in a microphone, I mean, small things, many times the audio does not work because of the wrong connection or wrong setting there. And you know, when somebody is interacting, we are saying no voice here. First of all, as he said, hello, how are you? Can you hear me is the most often question. <laughs> if I can't hear you, I will tell you, yeah, but please speak. <laughs> now, you need, to, you need to tell all the participants up front. Yeah, they should that directly that start asking questions when the control is passed to them. Hmm. There is no nicety, no nothing required because every second is valuable. You see, for otherwise I'll tell you, if we follow this protocol very crisply, then instead of interacting with five participants, we can interact with 10 participants. 
And that is more important, to get views of five more people, to get their questions and to answer them is more important. So all these things, and if somebody is holding the mic, somebody is running around, and, and then no audio is visible, that two or three times you try, the whole 10,000 set of people get disturbed in the process. The continuity and spontaneity is lost. So I'll tell you, this, this session, according to me, is the most critical technical session of conduct of all workshops. Internet bandwidth, the correct AVU machine, as Professor has said, and the correct uh, video card, and the correct connections. Daily checklist, as I mentioned. And a daily some... checklist. Yes. And, the, and uh, we have found, the time and again, the biggest problem is lack of communication locally between yes. the technical team, the coordinator, workshop coordinator and technical. That communication has to be in writing. It cannot be verbal. Now, we have the entire documentation here. What prevents the remote center from taking a printout of the whole manual and keep that manual there? But before the workshop insists that the technical team has read that manual. This is not uh, only for the audio video, by the way. In practically any kind of thing. I've been a database expert. And when people complained about database performance, whether it is Oracle or Ingress or whatever, in 90% of the cases, the people had not read the Oracle manual, which itself gives the solution of how to solve that. So half our problem in India is people don't read manuals. And additional problem we have is people don't ask them to read manuals. So let us at least ask them to read manuals and do it properly. But this problem, please treat this as a very, very critical problem. It has to be monitored on a daily basis. The second problem is timekeeping. That you have to have your staff open the facility half an hour before. And there is no compromise with this. If somebody does not come half an hour before, then the setting, etc., does not happen. Uh, we have had instances where the workshop has started and some uh, center is still logging in. Now, this is not happening because of equipment. This is happening because some people did not reach in time. Please understand that if we have to wait because three centers have not logged in, then for the sake of those three centers, all other people are waiting unnecessarily and wasting their time. So, uh, this timing has to be followed. And this again will depend upon the instructions and disciplines. Yes. I suggest the pipeline could be if you are proposing to do all the centers. So why you should not order best quality equipment in bulk and then you can ask the vendor to distribute it. So yeah. That will network you a good bargain. This is a more sophisticated way of making. This is a more sophisticated way of making IIT Bombay the procurement agency for all the. <laughs> <laughs> I like the nice wordings, but it is it is it is not it is not possible for us to do that. That not like that, when we purchase, uh, when we uh, wrote the quotations, they say only two, three will not supply. With all requirements, I have floated the uh, quotations as per your guidelines. The uh, party is saying we will not supply two or three for you. That is the problem, sir. For three times, we received nil quotations. Oh, I see. This for which this particular this yes, uh, yes, video sir. capture card you are talking all, about? All, 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 whatever the, you are giving you the are guidelines. Trying, you, audio, video, uh, all, all, all purchase. Nobody refused to give one, one item. Uh, no, nobody, huh, nobody gives. For, no, they refuse to give one item. They don't no, give. No, we purchase supply. online, but if they, try, they, they have not tried whatever we have mentioned, I think. No, no, they have tried. He has given quotation, what, he has received null quotation. PNIT, 1128. They floated a quotation that uh -huh. is not... How many of you have this problem of procurement? I don't think the procurement problem exists, but it will not exist at all 272 places. No, no. Okay. no when we want to purchase complete PC, then there is a problem. I think you are trying to call to the vendor who is not supplying that item. No, no, that is an open tender, open quotation. The open tender. No, no, there could be procurement... I, I can understand that there could be a procurement items. problems. We will, so what, instead of what you are saying is asking for a composite PC with everything is not possible. Not possible. That's okay. So you procure a PC with the correct uh, appropriate thing and you have to fit in the other uh, video capture card by procuring it independently. There is no choice. Now, if there is a problem in procuring that video card, that problem will have to be resolved. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,
Which which place is this? Pandarpur. In Pandarpur, you are unable to get. Uh... As per these new requirements, no, we have floated tender, but nobody is responding to this. You no, know, so you will have to procure things separately then. You can't purchase a composite single tender. That is. Yes. Because if you are you are trying to purchase the Panasonic or Sony, they will not provide the Osprey card and the audio mixer. Uh, even here in IIT Bombay, we do not procure the entire thing through a single tender. We procure cameras separately, we procure PCs separately, we procure cards separately, we procure audio equipment separately. The only the problem with audio equipment that has been purchased, you see, we have said audio amplifier with these features. Now, we are all technical people. The difference is when I uh, when I use an audio amplifier which is used in Shadi Bia kind of thing, that is the kind of thing that creates a problem. Mm. A run-of-the-mill audio amplifier which works normally for entertainment and such places will not work here. So we have to be careful in the equipment that we procure. That's all. Uh, actually, uh, ma'am told that uh, Osprey 100E card. So Rahul Commerce, I think so, a person. Uh, he's a trader. Uh, because why, he, why she asking the question is that particular product is only they are supplying to uh, eBay or uh, Amazon, any online purchase, only they are given zip code, it's a US supplier only. In India, there, there is some uh, two or three persons only available for uh, this kind of video capture card, like that uh, Osprey or uh, Pinnacle and everything. But uh, last program, we can, uh, in the control system, uh, testing purpose, we are purchasing in our center. Uh, we are uh, uh, molded that we are we are setting the Osprey 100E, but we are getting some uh, problem in that. What, what, is, what is the problem is uh, sometimes the video may be uh, um, and continuous. That is that is the problem with the settings. If you do the settings properly, when you press the start button, so uh, yes. the settings for the color encoding scheme. Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, excuse me, sir. Your camera is giving feed to uh, PAL. Then and your camera, you have installed uh, your card. If you have installed as a setting NTSC, just okay. change according to the camera feed. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Sir, actually, this kind, this kind of fact, the uh, information will be given in that uh, guidelines. We'll add it. We'll add it. We'll add it. Yeah, we're not present. I think so. Maybe I think so. This, this setting like information about NTSC and PAL, you uh, might want kind to of add in your manual itself. Now, already Thank I give you very much. That's a good point. Yes, sir. I'll be given, given the instruction to my technical team. The okay. people are arguing me. Uh, sir, you cannot give me that, uh, that point because please, uh, that is maybe included. So another thing, if you if it be possible, this kind of technical uh, explanation, uh, maybe you are uh, getting a video and everything, you can put in your uh, site and the things. You can show the technical people if possible. If any uh, courses, maybe they are asking to me. In fact, I'll go one step forward. This idea of making a video is a good point. Sajjan had already mentioned it to me. We will institutionalize it. What we'll say is, we will take this equipment, peaceful equipment, as if it has come fresh, and we're setting it up. And we should create, we should, somebody should direct a film for, say, half an hour or so on how to set up this equipment, take the screenshots, what settings are to be done, camera placement, what happens if you place it here, what happens if you face it there. This kind of half an hour uh, uh, video you make, training video. The second suggestion I have is, we have these workshops, but there is no reason why we should interact only during this workshop and only for technical matters. Suppose we decide to have a workshop, no cost, no budget, no nothing, but a workshop for technical people alone. Will that make sense? Yes. It could be just a half day workshop for the technical people to interact with the technical teams. Then they could ask questions, they could answer questions. Yes sir, that's it. Yes sir, I mentioned that only. I mentioned that only. Yes, so, apart from a video, we would also try to organize very quickly if possible, sometime during December, and we could assign, we could assign two different alternate slots where we could conduct the repeat of the workshop. One day, some, uh, I mean, if the common time is not suitable, so what day is most convenient for such technical people for a workshop like this? Saturday. So Saturday morning, some Saturday morning. So, no, 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 no problem. I, I will tell you, since conduct the workshop from our end, 
requires a small team, both from Kharagpur and uh, uh, Mumbai. I would suggest that for our teams, it should be a day-long event. We'll conduct one workshop in the morning and one same workshop in the afternoon. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, it is related to the screen shots. Uh, in our room, when we are going to contact, there is a three different columns available. When I'm keeping the camera, it is able to focus only two rows or some persons. It is unable to cover whole uh, classroom. But when you are taking the screenshot, you are taking the screenshot only for those persons. Those uh, sitting behind the uh, camera, you are unable to take the screenshot. But when we are settling the accounts, we are saying that you have to settle the accounts as per the screenshot. So, How come it is possible? Yes, yeah, so before the workshop started, we had said many times, please place the camera properly so that... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. If you have taken that camera, it is unable to take the... What it is unable to capture all those rows. It is able to capture only these two columns. So, if it is not possible to keep the camera in front of that the audience, the problem. just keep the camera in the ideal position so that we can see whole classroom. Yeah, if you have kept it here, if you are keeping here also, from we, your we, side, no, 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 no. How we may no my question is, is, if you are keeping it here also, you are able to cover only up to this. If it is a broad no, room, no. you can see this camera can cover whole classroom. No, it is able to, unable to cover that one. This kind of facility you do not have, I think. No, no, no. You, it is my, it is as, my as, request. As, no, just uh, for this purpose, I will, I will show you a, a screenshot. So we started this screenshot on 18th June. And we continuously observed these remote centers one hour. And we called to the center coordinator as well as the workshop coordinator, please focus the camera properly, so your participants but they were unable to produce that. Just you can observe these centers. Let me intervene here, because the matter is raised in the context of, uh, in the context of attendance and certificate. First of all, please reflect back on what I said in the morning. Why was it at all required for me to put a team of people to monitor the screenshots? Should it have been necessary at all? Why was it necessary? That is because we got certified attendance from remote centers where we knew that those people were not attending. Please understand that this entire problem is caused because of non-compliance of basic ethical <laughs> recording that is expected from remote centers. If every remote center does it, see, please understand, we are wasting our time to monitor those. That is not our job. Our job is to interact with the participants. Our job is to discuss technical things. Our job is not to monitor attendance. We are not like primary school teachers recording attendance or something. But because of consistent problems that we faced in proper attendance capture, we had to resort to this. Our objective behind this monitoring was only to ensure that if there is some serious problem in some remote center which they are unable to communicate, we are able to observe that and we are able to intervene. But instead, we are forced to take these screenshots as the only proof of attendance because the otherwise the normal proof of attendance is not coming properly and in a trustworthy fashion. Yeah. You solve that problem, this problem is not required. We don't want to do this. This is an added burden on us. They yeah, added burden on our team. They yeah, added burden on the storage. We're just storing the screenshots for no purpose whatsoever. I mean, you are saying that this happened. Did you try to follow the, uh, did you try to do the following? I mean, those centers which had this Jinin Kajar. You could write to me saying that, look, I have certified this attendance. I guarantee that every person who has signed has attended on all these days. It's my guarantee. I'll accept it. But if you have proven wrong, I will complain about your remote center to AICT. Is that acceptable? What are oh, we yeah, trying sure. to yes, we are, yes, sir. We, yeah. we are not getting into legal battles here with each other. We are, co we are cooperating partners in this venture. Only when the partnership is not executed in the trustworthy fashion, the problems arise. But let me <coughs> tell you, for the sake of 20%, 30% uh, remote centers, all 100% remote centers are required now to do an extra work and we are required to do an extra work. We would like to avoid doing that. We would like to avoid doing that. But we will continue doing that. There is a special session uh, after lunch with uh, about uh, 
94 remote centers where I will have a 15 minutes talk with them. Of these 90, all these 93 remote centers, we have had problems, uh, slightly more than others. But in these 93, there are some in which we teach we have very major problems. So I will be talking to them separately. We, as I, I will repeat again, we do not want to do this. We are not interested in doing this. It's an extra burden for us. But we are forced to do this and we'll continue to do this till alternate mechanisms are available in a guaranteed fashion. At least till next summer, we'll continue doing this and we'll be continue to require to base our judgment, partly at least on the screens. Thank you, sir. Right. Sir, it's all the parts that are registered free. They, all the parts who are registered are not really interested in the workshop. That is perfectly fine. If they, no, 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 I have no problems. I have no problems, but then those people should also be willing to accept the fact that they will not get certificates at the end. If we make it cost, they will have to pay for the registration, uh, the nominal amount. Yeah. Then they will attempt to deliver the amount. And what do you these are all related problems. We are just discussing AVU related screenshots. So we'll we'll continue this discussion. No, no, we'll continue this discussion after the lunch time. Yeah. Okay. So actually, I I I I read about So okay. <laughs> so if your machine is slow, then you can change. Otherwise, in no, my I'm, point of view, I no, no. One second. When we had written that specification, that was I three. Yes. I think now we should upgrade that to five five I seven. Can remote center coordinator can uh, analyze the uh, participant uh, whether he has submitted the assignment or not online before the submission dates? Yeah, model related query. Yeah, model and all that. Yes, yes, sir. So that we can pressurize or we can motivate them to submit on time. Yes. Can it be possible? Yes. How how we can do that? What so you are, you are remote center ready. coordinator can how to judge? How he can judge? Hello, hello. How remote coordinator can judge? That, can that, that, done by that, role is, that role is assigned actually to the workshop coordinator who is included and grouped along with those participants of that remote center on the Moodle. We'll so do the workshop is, coordinator can observe that. But what if you wish, we can also include uh, RC sir, coordinator as a, a, a registered General. person, yeah. as, a, as a what you call non-editing teacher. Incidentally, we may be moving away from Moodle or in addition to Moodle, we may be using Swayam platform for workshops in summer. So I will talk about it briefly later in the thing. But currently on the Moodle, there is absolutely no problem. We could include RC coordinator's please, name please also do, as non-editing yeah. teachers. Yeah. We'll include it. That's it. I have a suggestion to actually not to IIT, but for all our remote center. Can we form a cluster of the uh, remote centers? Those who are near remote center, that is 12 or 15 remote center, form a cluster. And if possible, they try to solve the issues within themselves because one remote center may have a solution for the other remote centers. Right for procurement, just now that uh, Madam is talking about that, it is available in Pune. So I am ready, I am from Pune. I am ready to give the help uh, to her then I can procure it and send it to her. So that kind of thing is possible. If we solve the problem ourselves in that particular cluster, then that will be helpful and uh, the burden at the IITB uh, may also reduce. So is it possible then we can form the cluster nearby centers? Like for example, Pune, we, Pune, Pandarpur, Solapur, we have a 15 centers are there. We can form the cluster and we can have a dialogue uh, with each other. If that works, then automatically, uh, I, I thought that was procurement problem. If we procure 15 uh, in a bulk, then again, it will also solve the problem. If it, if it is, uh, it has to be coordinated centrally. So that's why I'm requesting IITB if they can uh, little bit coordinate all those things, then that will be helpful. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Nice suggestion. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, can we have a, uh, a view application for Ubuntu or Linux version? So, uh, Abrita University First. developed a wave version. Okay. Related with you regarding same because XP is not, not more supporting right now. We are going to be upgrade for the Windows 7 and Windows 7 is compatible for ABU right now. No, no, it is compatible. No, it sir. Compatible. When, when I start, when I try to do it, it, it is not possible for me. Uh, so so we version 1.5 5 was not compatible with Windows 7. Now okay. we we have been using 3.7 version. 
So they developed a wave version. This is under testing process. Then when we use that, when we'll, we will give that link to you. Yes. It is regarding the new version of wave view. Uh, two days back it happened, like uh, we, we installed for the testing. Uh, we installed it two days back for the uh, testing with the IIT Kharagpur. So it was restarting again and again, like uh, in between it was getting... It is restarting, that it is was I5, the problem uh, with the system. The Just check your virtual memory settings, the paging is high. I think you should check your system. There is a virus Pardon? inside the machine. No, no, it is a new system, it was stable, there were no other issues. Have you tried it on another system? I know, we have not tried. Just try it. Try it, Hi, try it on another system. If it is installing there properly and it is not installing on this system, then might be the problem with the system also. No, because this, we, the new, we, it was a, a new system, totally new system. No, sometimes it sometimes happens. New systems also give problems. Reasons, just try to install. Sir, I am telling something regarding the attendance. We are facing some practical problems regarding attendance. It is, uh, it is true that all the participants are not always available or something like that. But uh, there is some issues in the college where it is not is ethical ground. Um, I know, but I have forced to do that. For, ex for example, I just, uh, uh, the control system workshop, it is going to happen starting from 2nd December. And uh, our semester exam also be same time, starting from the same and now there is a uh, lots of teachers are registered, they are interested. Now problem is that if this total set, uh, somehow 51 are registered in the control system and there is confirmed. If this lot of set are totally absent for the invigilation duty, so how we run the examination? So if, that, that's why before registration process, I also talking to the IIT Kharagpur team that it is overlapping with our uh, the university WBUT uh, with the course. So they will saying the they will change to uh, means uh, date so we can arrange it. It is also the question is raised by our workshop coordinator during the workshop coordinator. So now our problem is that now if it is required that all the participant is totally present during the total day of workshop, so our semester exam will be completely stopped. Semester examination must take precedence. I must clarify that this is a completely non-technical question, has nothing to do with AVU. But it's an important question. We'll take this up later during the discussion session. Uh, there has been a suggestion, as I mentioned very briefly, that we should decide on the dates of the workshop well in advance, keeping in mind the individual requirement. Now, unfortunately, these, our 300 remote centers are spread all across the country. And unfortunately, the timetable of exams and the schedule of the lectures is not uniform across the country. So this problem will always be faced by some centers or the other. The best bet is for those teachers not to participate in that workshop. No, but said that, that's why uh, it will be going down to four or five participants. That is okay. That 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 is an exceptional situation. You write to us that in our uh, uh, center this time because of this overlap, there may be only four or five participants available. In future, we'll try to combine these participants with the other remote centers, so that a remote center runs with a viable number of things. But for the time being, we'll take a call. I will talk to my colleagues from Kharagpur and we'll say whether as an exceptional thing can we permit conduct of this workshop even with five participants or ten participants. We have done that in the past. But one thing is sure, they have obviously a priority to handle the examination duty, but they cannot do both. So that is perfectly fine. Ask such people to deregister who have examination duty. No, sir, actually another problem is that when exam is not going, for example, suppose it is computer Programming workshop is there, right. running where. I am also facing the same problem. Uh -huh. now, now, the programming field is related to all the departments. So, all the departmental faculties are uh, very much eager to participate in the workshop. And it's very it's useful for that. And so, so, they registered. And now, if there is a two-week workshop, if these two weeks, all the faculties of, of my college are attended in the workshop, so Practically, the college will be stopped. Means no classes will be there, no lab will be there. 
and our college is a private engineering college students are giving huge amount of fees so they clearly go in the principal and saying two weeks we have not any classes uh, so how we face uh, this problem well, we are and uh, also sir sir one point uh, one point is that that in the private engineering college each of the department have not very a large set of teachers for example for in my college then cac and it department i am from cac department from cac and it department combinedly 10 or 12 faculties so when we organize a programming or networking workshop almost even in the 10 and 12 faculties almost 10 are going to the participate I am the remote center coordinator. One maybe because the programming and networking expertise are from workshop coordinator, obviously from department. So actually, these 10 to 12 faculties class are totally off. I have understood all that you have said. After listening to the riot act which you just read, <laughs> the best solution is to remove yourself as a remote center of the workshops. No, <laughs> That's the best way. No. It is not necessary for your, your college to become a remote center or remain a remote center. You see, the problems that you are mentioning are faced to varying extent by different people. We are trying to ensure that the workshops are not conducted when the regular semester is on. And therefore, no teaching should suffer. Obviously, teaching learning is our primary duty for all of us. So that is the precaution we are taking. As I said, because of the differences in the timetabling across the country, we could face this problem. But if this is a generic problem, believe me, and I'm not saying it sarcastically, it is proper for you to say that, look, because of these peculiar circumstances, we are unable to participate that's in the that's, remote That's actually, I actually... No, no, that's okay, to... that's okay. We, but you see, it is not necessary. We have 5,000 engineering colleges. Every college need not be a remote center. It is not necessary. But if I am a remote center, then I am expected to do certain things. If I am unable to do them perpetually, then the problem is in the system. It is not problem with an individual coordinator or anyone. And these problems cannot be sorted out by IIT Bombay, IIT Kharagpur, anyone. Because we have to ensure the maximum good. The largest number of people should be able to participate and contribute. That is the objective. It is not possible to pay or solve problems at every institution which are peculiar. I can understand this uh, examination problem, but the examination problem will try to avoid to the extent possible by announcing the dates even earlier. There was one suggestion made, although this is a topic that we should take up during the discussion session, but I'll mention it because it was indicated that suppose we start the registration for the main workshop even before conducting the coordinator's workshop, except we say, that in case the number of registrations are not adequate at a remote center, the participants who are registered at that remote center may be shifted to the neighboring remote center. And then we take a view of how many remote centers we should actually run the workshop in after having a good idea about the total registration spread. Okay. Yeah. So that is something that we can do. It, by the way, the whole idea that I had behind setting up 400 or 500 remote centers is to ensure that at any one point in time for any one workshop, only 200 or 250 remote centers need to participate. All 400, 500 need not participate. It's not expected. I may, for example, for a particular subject, I may not have an expert faculty in that uh, remote center at all. So there cannot be any workshop coordinator. We don't want a workshop coordinator to be nominated for the namesake. So it is quite possible that for different subjects, different remote centers will participate. That is perfectly fine. Uh, uh, your login time and logout time, it is recorded in that server. So please try to log in before the session. Every time. And if session starts 9 o'clock, at 30 onward, you should try to correct the AU server. And second is, as I mentioned in the guidelines file, Every time you should uh, follow the steps of daily checklists. And this part for the participating teachers, you should print on a paper and distribute every time to the participants. Thank you so much. <laughs>